Welcome to the Autism Wellbeing Plan podcast. My name is Christian Yordanoff, author of the book Autism Wellbeing Plan, How to Get Your Child Healthy. And with this podcast, I'm going to share with you strategies on how to get your child as healthy as you can using a healthy diet, smart supplementation strategies, reducing toxic exposures in your immediate environment, improving sleep, and using lab testing to identify metabolic imbalances and healing opportunities. So a little bit about um, my book and me and the podcast uh, or the themes we'll tackle, right? So I wrote the book, Autism Wellbeing Plan. Uh, I was writing it during the second part of uh, the year 2019. I published it in March 2020. And during the research for the book, I read almost a thousand or so scientific papers. Most of them have to do with, had to do with autism. Uh, Many are just related to health. And in my research, I uncovered a lot of information that uh, just isn't, hasn't made its way to the mainstream, to many, most parents, in fact, most doctors. So during my research, um, I uncovered that many things such as gut dysfunction, gut infections, sleep problems, nutrient deficiencies or imbalances, heavy metal toxicity, chemical toxicity, all all these things were in some way linked to an increase in autism severity, so higher amounts or higher severity of autistic symptoms, right? So what I discovered during my research is that just most doctors and most parents don't know this information. So that's why I wrote the book to share my research with as many families as possible so that they can improve their, not just their children's health and quality of life, but their own quality of life. Because as as I say in the book, if your youngster has tummy trouble, they are more likely to be cranky, act out, you will suffer. If they're not sleeping well, you will not be sleeping well and your quality of life will decrease. So this is what I want to teach as many folks as possible is how to use advanced lab testing, which we'll talk about at length in in future episodes, strategies to improve sleep, strategies to improve toxic exposures. And of course, I'll also talk why it's so important to do that. Of course, we talk a lot about supplementation, diet. These are the core pillars of health. The other thing that we'll talk about at length is improving your child's gut function. Now, we know from the research that anywhere between 90 and 91% of autism study participants were shown to have at least one gastrointestinal symptom, such as constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, um, reflux, maldigestion, these kind of things. So this is just a little introduction episode just to get going with the platform, uh, just to make sure I can do this. Um, I'm hoping as we as we start getting more listeners to to take listener questions to um, I'm hoping to give away copies of the book as we go. Maybe every every episode I can give away a copy of the book to a listener that writes in with a question or something like that. And it will it will very much depend on the feedback I get from the podcast. I'd love to, of course, get some some clinicians on the podcast and, of course, as many parents as possible because um, at the end of the day, you know, this, this podcast is aimed at the parents and it's your struggles and challenges that we're trying to kind of help you with. So by hearing what challenges you've, you've had, um, and sharing that advice with others, you know, you'll be able to to help other parents. So, um, you know, I, I'd, I'm, I'm sure not many people will listen to this first podcast. So I will I will be echoing this these statements throughout this, the, the 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 rest of the episodes. But you know, I I encourage you to write to me, reach out to me, and let me know if you have any questions, anything, any area in terms of diet supplementation um you know that we'll be talking about that will be the themes of the podcast if you have any challenges there or questions 
write in and let me know and I'll try my best to kind of answer address all those all those important questions so thank you for listening this is just a short five minute introduction um, I hope to have you back on again as much as possible in the coming future